Even though I see more and more women involved in nuclear science, unfortunately, in the real nuclear world, we are still a minority. We embrace the issue, and, and, and for this, I'm very proud to be part of the NEA. Gender balance is on display at the NEA every day. Women here are the rule, not the exception. Seeing so many women was very surprising at first, uh, especially in leadership positions. Um, since most of our heads of divisions are women. Role models are important to encourage young women to study and pursue careers in STEM. And that's why we started the NEA International Mentoring Workshops. Uh, I had the pleasure to participate in the first mentoring workshop that was organized in Japan. Students can interact informally with high-level mentors, so they can discuss uh, career in science and technology. We can distribute this information that, look, we are women, we are working for nuclear. It's a good example. The issue is that uh, it is not given equal opportunities at the uh, uh, earlier steps to women. So they will never be able to reach uh, um, such kind of uh, representativity if we do not start earlier, like at the high school or even uh, earlier. When you think about nuclear, Women have been contributing to this field uh, since the beginning. The women, they, they bring their expertise, they bring their knowledge, they bring just like the men. Uh, women and men could have the same role and the same position. I think women can play an important role in nuclear war. Women bring a new perspective to the nuclear sector. And that perspective is an important, uh, diversity in thought is the most important part. In order to address big issues such as climate change, air pollution and raising global living standards, we need more scientists and engineers, not fewer. The world needs more women in science and in nuclear for a better future for our economies, our societies and our planet.